Right, good morning guys. We are at EC this morning, trying to find stuff in the charity shops. Hopefully there's some stuff that makes our time worth it. Wasn't too good last week. But after this, we shall move on to some more places, try and hit some more charity shops up this morning. So Wednesday was usually my main sourcing day of the week. So fingers crossed, we find some stuff and make our time worth it. Let's hope for, I would say, a 30, 40 pound item and that will make my morning. So fingers crossed, let's get into the first shop. Right then. Let's head into Salvation Army. Usually this is the best shop. I have all the ones here, so fingers crossed we find some stuff in here today. Well, there's nothing worth filming. As you can see, the diesel is still Army. here from last week. So head to the British Foundation. This one's usually just quite, quite expensive. So let's hope we can find something. Yeah, in that shop, picked up those two trade win mugs. I sold five bowls before for about £35, I think, plus postage. But two of them broke on the way, so I had to refund the buyer the price of the two bowls, so 15 quid. But they were only like, I think, £1.50 each, something cheaper than that. So those two mugs, £2 each, as you saw. I think they, the comps were about £8 a mug. So I've already bundled them together for like 15, 20 quid sort of range. Take some off, we'll see what happens. But they sell pretty well, about 80% sell through, I'm pretty sure. So not bad. First, it'll pick up something just to, you know, Keep the store moving over, but let's jump into the next shop and see what we can find. Right, here we go, Age UK. Look at this, really nice. Vintage Florida t-shirt. Single stitch as well. Vintage tag. Only three pound. Definitely getting that one. Right, next shop. Let's see if we can find anything in this one. The first find in the shop was a really nice pair of vintage Nike joggers, women's extra large, only £4, nice little tick down on the leg. And the second find was this pair of, I think they're Shana Crocs, only a fiver, not bad. Two nice little pickups in that shop, a pair of vintage Nike joggers and a pair of Shana Crocs, £8 in total. So let's go into the next one, see what we can find. So the only thing in that shop was that stupidly expensive AC Milan bag. I don't know why it was 20 quid. But let's go to the next one and see what we can find. Hopefully some more stuff to see out of these last few shops. Right then, last shop. See if we can find anything here. There wasn't anything coming. So. Right, I've got one more shop to go. It's not been the worst morning. not been the best either. Some decent stuff we found, but hopefully this last shop has something in it. I found a Carhartt t-shirt here a couple of weeks ago. I uh, found some vintage night green hey, that stuff as well. So fingers crossed, the luck stays the same for this shop and we can find something to end the trip to this place quite nicely. I found this NBA jazz jersey. It was eight pounds, it was covered in stains. Just not worth picking up, so I just left it behind. Right, so that last charity shop in Eastleigh was closed and the other one that was next to it, which is usually rubbish, was again rubbish. Everything's really expensive in that shop and it's just not good quality at all. There's Nike t-shirt, it's a vintage one to be fair, but it's got like a football thing on the chest. Um, but it's like just all peeling off. The prints is like completely missing and they're charging nine pound for it and it's been there for about two months and it hasn't sold. I find that in some charity shops, they just keep the same price and even after a month or two months of it not selling, it just never gets reduced in price and it ends up in the rag house, ends up in landfill. So it does annoy me a bit when I keep seeing the same things and there's no action taken to try and reduce the price to get it to sell before it even gets taken to the tip. So we're at Locks Heath now. Let's jump into these shops and see if we can find anything at all in these ones. There's one shop here, the Marie Curie, which is usually quite good. It's referred to as a Locks Heath boutique by some people, including myself. I've had a very good success from this shop so far. So yeah, let's take a look and see what we can find. Right, here we go, Marie Curie. This one's quite good, so let's see what we can find in here. So my first little find was this builder bear like a Velociraptor. It was like £2.50, but it's only worth about eight or ten pounds so I left it. I then found this Lego Superman clock, it's only £2.50, but it's pretty beat, it's only worth about five, six pounds. Found this Warhammer 40k bike again, it's like five pounds, but only worth about ten pounds still, so not worth picking up. And then this clock, it's four pounds, but it faded, so I left it. Unfortunately, you'll see from the videos there wasn't too much in that Marie Curie that was decent today, unfortunately. So head to the Bernardos, see what's in here. Usually it's really expensive, so. I'm not hopeful. So as you can see, these two wrapper and polo shirts, six pound each, but the collars is absolutely beat, so not worth picking up, but maybe personal collection, but this pair of Nike shorts, so faded, not worth picking up whatsoever, covered in dirt, just not worth selling at all. This beige pair looked okay to start with, and then I turned around on the back, the massive mark, four pound each, just not worth picking up whatsoever, because it's so dirty and faded. 
I thought this might have been cool to pick up, but it's just so big. It's 15 quid, not really worth it. Right, so we're now at Stubbington. It's another little like village. There's only three shops here, but Bernardo's has been quite good to me in the past. I've had quite a lot of good stuff. Quite a lot of my recent sales have come from Bernardo's. There's a Sue Rider and a Revitalizer. Revitalizer is becoming a bit more expensive these days um, and the stock's not very good. So we jump in and see what we can find. Hopefully something to sort of make this day worth it because other than Eastley's stuff this morning, there's not really been anything that's great. So hopefully we find something, but if not, just another one of those days where you don't find much, but you find enough just to make it worth yourself. So I went to Revitalize and the two rider, absolutely nothing. Went to the Bernardo's, really nice waffle dip, fat face jumper for five pound, and right behind it was a normal quarter zip, also five pound, lovely. Isn't too bad, but a five pound and a size three, so I probably need these. So yesterday morning's fairly unsuccessful trip to charity shops in Eastleigh, Stubbington and Loxheath. I thought I'd take myself to Fairham. It's another little town local to me. Uh, it's about nine, eight shops here or so. Fairly decent, some are really expensive. There's a British Heart Foundation here and they charge like stupid money for their stuff, like just stupid money and it never sells. But there's some good shops here. There's one shop where I found the Montclair jacket in and that's here. So hopefully we find some good stuff today, make up for the you know, rubbish day yesterday. But we'll jump into the first shop and see what we can find. Right, here we go, first shop of the morning, let's see what we can find. There is a boo bar. I saw one as before for about, I saw two for 30 quid, so we'll pick this little one up, pay 70 quid It's pretty good condition, probably 15, 20 quid on this one. Not bad first little find of the day. Next up, found this 100% cashmere jumper by Philosophy for £8, worth about 25, 30, I think. Then found this really cool Walt Disney World like 20th anniversary like, number plate from America. It was three pound, but it was still sealed, so maybe it's worth like 10, 15 quid. Well, those first few shots weren't too bad. Two out of four. Let's head into this one and see if we can find anything else. I found this champion jumper, but it was five pound. It just seemed a bit basic. It was fairly washed out, so I just left it behind. Jumping to the next shop, I picked up this Lands End 100% cashmere jumper. It's only six pound. Should be worth about 25, 30 quid. Seems cashmere. It does sell really well, and that's my second one today. So a few sales to add on from Wednesday and Thursday to kick things off. I sold the Pokemon Platinum cartridge only for £40 plus postage, sold it over on eBay, had eight watches on that by the time it sold. I sent an offer at 42 as like a, I think it was like £42.30, so add the postage to £2.70 to make it 45 all in. Someone counted at 40 quid, happy to accept it, only pay £3 of the car boot on Monday. So nice little flip, great game to be on the lookout for. Next up, I sold this pair of polo chaps or polo sports swim shorts. I paid two pound for these at a car boot in October last year. They've hung around for quite a while. They're a big size and they're 40 inch waist and they have sold for 22 pound over on Vinted. So you're only two pound paid. Again, taking ages to sell and they've sold in a month where it's not even summer. But obviously swimming shorts do sell quite well over the summer months if you can get them cheap enough and they're a good brand. And obviously a bigger size does hold too. But two in the 22, not bad, but just taking a while to sell. Next up is another pair of shorts. This is a pair of Dickies Red Hawk workwear shorts. I think I paid £2 for these as well, £2.50 in a charity shop not too long ago and they have sold for £15 over on Vinted as well. It's alright, no, it's not terrible, but I've not really picked up Red Hawk shorts before. I picked up two pairs that are brand new with tags for I think £4 and they sold for 16 or 20 quid. So to get £15 from pre owned is a very good deal in my opinion, but they're nice, good condition, big size again, 13 inch waist, so that sort of helps add that you know extra value and make it sell quicker. So £2.15, nice little flip. And again, once more, another pair of shorts. This time it's the Quicksilver cargo shorts that I picked up on Sunday. I paid £1.66 for these roughly after the three or five pound deal. And they sold on Vinted for 16 quid. Maybe I could have pushed more because they sold so fast, but there's a lot of interest, a lot of low offers at £10. I wasn't going to do anything less than 15. So two and a 16, again, didn't take long to sell at all. I think that's now three or four things from the card, but this was already sold. So, you know, great money's coming back already. So yeah, really happy with these. Obviously, they look really nice, details lovely, and 2 in 16, happy with these as well. My next two sales are this little Life's a Beach vinyl. I paid 20p for this one, not too long ago in a charity shop. It's just that the case is all damaged, but 20p is brand new and sealed. That's of a £9 on eBay. It's taking a couple months to sell, but I mean, it costs 20p. So you can't really complain, 20p into £9, and it's brand new and sealed, which makes it all the better. So yeah, nice little flip. And then my last sale is this pair of Nike Air Max, I think they're 96 GS, I can't exactly remember the modern name, I'll put the screenshot up here. I paid £6 for these a couple weeks ago, and they sold for £30 over on Depop. The person that sent me an offer originally, and then retracted the offer and just paid outright because they wanted them so much. The little bit of damage on the toe, I made sure you know to list all the damage in the description and in the photos, but 6 in the 30, 
nice flip times five so yeah happy days so another great weekend of sales across ebay and vinted i think i did almost 400 pound in total in sales across the two platforms so 100 on vinted and i think about 270 or so just about 300 on ebay so we'll start with the first sale on ebay i'll work through the list and i'll show you what i saw on vinted so the first sale is this Bellstaff t-shirt. I picked this up at the car boot last week. I paid up at £7.50 for it, but that sold for £19. So it didn't take too long to sell. A quick tenner after fees. So not the best in terms of, you know, return on investment, but it didn't take long to sell. I had a quick £10 back in my pocket. My next sale is this Calvin Green Gore-Tex like shell jacket. It's a golfing thing. I think I paid £6.50 for this or £7, something like that. That sold for £42. It didn't take too long to sell. I had other, I think it was 55 or 50 quid. Offer came in at 42. It was only a few quid that I was, you know, hoping to get more. So I was happy to accept 42 pound. And again, it only took about three or four weeks to sell. So Gore-Tex stuff does sell really well all the time. And first time picking this brand up, actually. I've never found it before. So can't really complain. Six pound, 50, seven pound into 42. Not bad. So quite a lot of Rohan this weekend. As I mentioned, I think in my last video or the video before, I can't remember which one it is now. Rohan does sell quite well for me, and it's one of the things I always pick up if it's under a tenner. Trousers usually are £6, £7 range, depending on how much they go for. But yeah, I've sold four pairs this weekend, through an eBay, one on Vinted. First up is this pair of Ultimate Cargoes. I paid £4 for these, and they have sold for £16.05. So after my cost of shipping, uh, I charge a buyer £20 all in. The next pair of Rohans is this pair of Rohan Troggings. They're like trouser joggers for women. They're a size 10. I think I paid £6 or £7 for these, something along the lines of that. And these ones sold for £27 plus postage. These took a while to sell, to be fair, for my normal month or so that Rohan usually sells in. I think these took about two months, if not three, to sell. But again, I had them for 35 took the offer at 27 just to get them gone. I don't know what I paid exactly. I think about six or seven quid. So after fees, about 15 quid profit. So not terrible, not the best, but Rohan is a good seller. So always be on the lookout for it. Just do a quick look up. I've mentioned it before in the video, but if you open up the inside of it, it will tell you on the little label exactly what it is, just there. So you can search it up, have a look at the comps, and then make guesses. But yeah, £6 into 27 not bad. I then saw another pair of Rohan joggings. This time they're a size 12. I paid £4 for these ones. These ones were a lot cheaper, and they sold for 23 quid. I had them for £30, so I was happy to let them go for 23 because it's a bit cheaper in terms of what I pay for the item itself. So again, it's three pairs of eBay alone have made me, what, 27, 23, 50, 64 pounds, 66 pounds, if my math is correct. Might be completely wrong there, but that's pretty good to be fair on just trousers alone. So Rohan stuff, yeah, always pick it up. My next two sales are these two little Lego figures. I picked up this one put of the car boot last week for two pound. He sold for a tenner, bit yellowed on the back, missing the horn, so I was happy to go for a tenner. And I sold this Superman. I don't think it is actually Superman, but it's someone as Superman. And that came in a bundle from Vinted. That's over four pound. I'm well in the profit now, as you might have seen from my last video. I sold the Silver Crest for fifty one pound, fifty five pence, or something along the lines of that. So happy with this to sell at four pound. It's just money. It's you know nothing really in this figure now. So fourteen pound off of two pound and seventy pence. Not bad. My next sale is this Low Pro camera bag. I can't remember the exact name of it. Oh, you go, Fast Pack two fifty. The little label just there, sometimes on the inside. I paid £3.50 for this one. I had an offer come in about a week after purchasing it, £31.4p. So after shipping, it would have worked out £35 all in. The buyer never paid. I relisted it, relisted it, relisted it. Just had no interest at all. Someone sent an offer 20 quid. You know, it's quite big, quite bulky. So I was happy that it go for that price. And £3.50 into 20 quid. Still a good flip. About, you know, £10 after fees and whatnot. So happy days. My well, next sale is this really nice, simple North Face t-shirt. It's just blue on the front, blue on the back, little small logo on the front and back as well. I paid £4.50 for this one, and that sold for £15 plus post. Only took about three or four weeks to sell, so you can't really complain when it's, you know, £4 a t-shirt and it sells 15 quid. Just another little great flip to add to that weekly payout on a Tuesday. If you watched any of my previous videos, you probably would have seen that I picked up some Funko Pops from a charity shop. I paid £7 for this, I think it's Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, in this sort of festive appearance with glow in the dark stuff on it I'm not too sure but i'll pay seven pound for that one and that sold for 17 pound 50 or 17 pound again didn't take too long to sell just over a week quick 10 pound profit and i mean the box is battered which is probably why the price was hindered quite a bit there's a flap open in there it's got a hole in the top another tear down here so it's one of those but obviously the figure itself is in really good condition so seven and 17 quick little flip can't complain 
My next sale is this really nice pair of Alpine Stars motorbike trousers. I can't remember the exact model name of them. I'll put it up on the screen when I show you how much they sold for. I paid £10 for these last year, so it's taken quite a while to sell. Usually my stuff that I have motorbike gear wise does sell quite fast for me, but these have hung around. I had up at 60 quid, so maybe that's why my pricing might have been too high. I had no one really interested, I had an offer of 40 quid come in as I put the trousers up, but I rejected it. I wanted to hold out for a higher offer, but nothing came through. So I deleted them, relisted them at 50 quid. Had another come in last night at 42 pounds, so I thought we'd get them gone. And I mean, when they are folded up in a box, they're quite bulky. So I'm happy to get the space back in my box and 10 into 42. It's a good flip still, but just not as much as hoping for, but still happy with that sale. The next sale is this really nice Liv Zoria or Zoria jacket. I'm not too sure how you say the modern name of it. I paid a pound for this in the British Heart Foundation that usually charges stupid money for next to nothing. And I mean, their stuff is usually terrible quality, to be fair. But this was a pound, so really happy with that. The only reason I know about this brand is it's a brand by Giant. It's like the woman's range of giant bikes. And we got giant bikes in our family, so that's how I knew about the brand. So one pound paid. That's over 25 pounds. It's taken a few months to sell. But it's just waiting for the right buyer to come along at the right time and pay the price. So £1 into £25, you can't complain. And then to end my eBay sales, I sold this Atmosphere VHS board game. I paid £4 for this one and it is sold for £15 plus post. It didn't take too long to sell, so we've had about a month and a half or so. I think the comps on this one are usually quite low in terms of like the sell through. I think it's like 50%, so I'm happy mine sold eventually. And £4 into 15 you can't really complain. It's a fun little game, stick your VHS in the TV, play along, it's all in there, all complete. Atmosphere stuff does usually sell quite well. I think the newer stuff sells better than the VHS ones, but even so, £4 and 15 can't go wrong. To kick the vintage orders off, I picked up this pair of checkerboard vans at the car boot. I think it was the first one this year. I paid up at £5 for these. It was our first sort of buy, I had to get out of the way. And the person literally been there like five minutes. So I was like, do you know what? I'll pay up. But I mean, the condition of them is really good. There's even still the sticker on the bottom stuck in. So for a five, I was happy to pay for that. They sold a 15 quid over on Vintage. So a quick £10 profit. No fees on Vintage. So I was happy to let them go for that much. I had about £20 on eBay and just no interest because they're a size three. So quite small. So five and 15, you know, £10, great. But small size does affect the price quite a bit. And my next sale on the Vintage is another pair of Rohan trousers. I paid £4 for these ones as well. There's some, I think they're backpackers or something like that. They sold for £25 on Vintage. Didn't take too long to sell. I've had them for the same amount of time as I had the Ultimate Cargoes, which sold on eBay. So Rohan, I said, always pick it up if it's the right price. Just double check the model name on the inside label. Have a quick look on eBay. See if it's worth selling. If it is, pick it up because it always sells for a good price if you get it for a cheap price. And then finally, the best sale on Vintage, and probably the best sale this weekend, to be fair, is this pair of Vapor Maxes. I picked this up at the car boot last week for £7, and they have sold for 60 quid on Vintage. More than happy to let them go for that price. The condition isn't the best. I didn't even clean them up. I just thought, you know what, we'll get them on, get them gone, and £7 into 60 quid. You can't really complain at that. They're in really good condition. The colour is really nice on the toes. The knit's in really good condition too. So I was you know, confident they would sell for a good price. And 60 quid, I'm happy with that. And that is a nice way to round out this weekend of sales. Also, just one thing to add into this video. If you haven't already, go to FedEx. You can make an account and you can get all of this stuff for free, like absolutely free. You get like bubble mailers, bags, large bags, all these boxes here, except for these little ones because they're eBay ones. A box of tubes. And you also get some big boxes as well, which I've already used. But all of this is completely free. I think you've got to use the FedEx services a bit just so they can keep giving them to you. So obviously you're not just using them for other things, but you are allowed to do so. So you can get all of this stuff completely for free. I'll put a link in the description somewhere so you guys can try it out for yourself. So thank you very much for watching. I've now got all this stuff to pack up and drop off. I hope you guys had a good weekend of sales too. Let me know your best sale from this weekend or something you want to sell. Maybe go to the car boot and pick some up. I didn't go to the car boot this weekend. I went out last night on a Saturday yeah i got home at 3am in the morning i wasn't making it to the car boot but if you guys made it there let me know your best pickup let me know your best soul and i will catch you in the next video probably at the end of next week